this investigation, we will discuss the different behaviors of space and light. Have students put a string around a ball at the widest point and mark the string with a marker. Use a ruler to measure the length of the string. Determine the circumference of the ball. From this number, the diameter, radius, volume, and surface area of the ball can be calculated. Have students measure the length and width of a flat piece of paper using a metric ruler. From these two points, the surface area of the paper can be calculated. Now have the student cut a strip of paper 4 or 5 centimeters wide and about 28 centimeters long and tape the ends together without twisting the paper. Have them draw a continuous line through the middle of the strip of paper. Note that the line can be measured. This time, twist the paper over and tape the ends together. Have them draw a continuous line throughout the middle of the paper. Have students observe the difference in the two strips. The inside and the outside part of the strip is not evident. Most of what we know about forces and motion are based on Isaac Newton's law, but his laws are based on things we assume about the surroundings. Albert Einstein expands on Newton's law of motion by taking account of the fact that everything in the universe is moving and that velocity and gravity can affect time. His special theory of relativity in 1905 showed that Newton's three laws of motion don't always work when objects approach the speed of light. His general theory of relativity in 1915 shows that these laws don't always work when the gravitational forces become very strong. Students should be sure to read the story on page 14 and look for conditions that has caused time to speed up or slow down by tiny fractions of a second. Notice that Einstein proposed ideas about time and space over a hundred years ago. Students should not think that the possibilities on page 16 are the only ones there are. Have students remember that it is very difficult to study things that occurred in the past when there are no human witnesses and no way to repeat these events.